Hello! Geocoding is done via SmartMap API portal. First of all, log in to the SmartMap API portal. Click on the Geocode function and you will be directed to the Geocode page. To start Geocode processing, drag or upload your input CSV file. Click Start at the uploaded CSV file to start the geocode process and user is required to select the input column and desired output. In this case, we would want the location let long and geocode accuracy level. The geocode progress and status can be viewed at the progress and status column. When geocode complete, the output CSV can be downloaded by just clicking on the download button. Next is to show how user could open the geocode file using MapInfo software. Open the MapInfo software. Click open and select CSV file type and the geocoded file will be listed on the workspace. Open the geocoded file and user could see the column on output let long and accuracy level as per selection during geocode process using SmartMap API portal. The output let long can be displayed in point location on top of the map. Click on Create Points and select the table, projection and coordinates for the points to be displayed. Click OK and that's it, the points are plotted. Next is to enable the base map WMS to overlay with the points. Open WMS using SmartMap API URL, add the SmartMap API layers and now user could see the points on top of the SmartMap API layers. Users should also enable the WFS service in order to view the property information of the addresses. 
open WFS, select the layer which is property layer and to limit the return result based on user's current view using the row filtering function, set bounding box value to current mapper. Select the preferred symbol for better visualization, click OK and that's it. The blue diamond is the WFS property data. Clicking on each of the property points, the property information is displayed. Next is to show how user could get the other plots of WFS property at other area on the map. Zoom into any other area on the map. Following the same steps to enable the WFS property layer, And there you go, the green diamond is the WFS property data. Clicking at each of the property point, the property information is displayed. Well, I guess that's all for the demo today. Thank you.